This is the story of my incredible journey with Doctor Who. And this is how it ends. I'm obviously still having a lot of feels from the Angels Take Manhattan, which is understandable because once I explain to you how I started watching Doctor Who, I feel you will probably understand. Um, so the first episode of Doctor Who that I ever fully watched, I think, was probably Vincent and the Doctor, um, which at that point I had no idea what was going on or anything like that. Um, so... Uh, but I, nonetheless, I found the episode to be beautiful, and it is my favorite episode of Doctor Who to this day. Um, so what had happened is that I saw the promo for, um, the series six, and started to watch the episode, and then everyone in my house was like, oh, it's violent, because this is the episode where the Doctor gets killed for the first time. Um, so I did eventually watch it and I caught up on all of series five and you know it I fell in love with the show very very quickly and I I had really never had that sort of connection with the show before that it was just so I felt defined by it and it just it been an incredible journey and Traveling through series six, um, you know, watching as Amy went through her incredible journey, just absolutely had to be the strongest woman alive to not be completely torn apart after her daughter died. Not died, but taken away. Essentially, it, her the idea of her daughter died because she never got to raise a child. She learned that her childhood best friend was actually her daughter, and that this woman who she has saved her multiple times from Weeping Angels or how what have you is actually her daughter and is going to marry the doctor. And um, the one thing that I've always really, really liked about Amy is her relationship with the doctor because as he says, she's sealed onto his heart, and I, I think they have a bond that is so unique, um, just because they are such a beautiful friendship, such a complete understanding of each other, and you just, uh, the Angels Take Manhattan really destroyed me in a way, because I will never see you again, it's just, it completely completely ruined me in that regard um and I have gone back and I've watched some nine episodes and some ten episodes but I mean they just don't have they don't have Amy Bond and they don't have the 11th Doctor and so it's hard for me to watch those because they are what my parameters are for Doctor Who they they have the ideal Doctor Companion relationship they have this, like, complete understanding, you know, it's not the Doctor Rose Tyler, um, but, and, you know, Clara, I'm gonna give her a few episodes, but quite frankly, I don't see how anyone is gonna be able to top Amy Pond for me, because she, I just, I really did watch that show because of their relationship, because, I love the dynamic between them, and I just never wanted it to stop, and just the way it ended really just is it's not what I wanted. And, you know, I had finally let myself to be won over by some of the different dynamics on the show, and it's just so. It is quite possible that this time next year I will look back and say it was a good time, but, you know, I'm... I am concerned about the show from here on out because we do lose that great Doctor Companion relationship and I I just am worried that Clara is not gonna live up to my expectations. So yeah. Just very, very it's a very upsetting how it ended. It's very upsetting for me. Bye.